What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. It was a doozy matched up against the fine ladies and gentlemen over at Wiz Honor Face WHF. Uh, always a pleasure to match up these guys. This was an arranged war. Uh, so everything was even Steven going into this and 2.0 comes away with a one-star victory. It was a fantastic war. Uh, 2.0 really came out swinging, cleared up the nines very, very quickly. Um, you know, WHF had a few struggles early on, but came back like crazy. They, it was at the point where it was looking um, like 2.0 was looking really good, and basically WHF had to be perfect to force us to get another triple for the win. And they were perfect. <laughs> so this one came down to the very last attack. I want to say, actually, let's check this out. No, it wasn't. One of the very last attacks. Sorry, Ice was the very last attack on number seven. But QC, my wonderful friend from Calgary, Alberta, comes through against Albert and with the three star gives us the one star victory. So uh, awesome job to 2.0. Really, really, really uh, was an exciting war. And, um, you know, I'm sure all of us were uh, rejoicing at the end of it because it's been a while since we've had a had a really nice, you know, fair, fair play, even ground victory like this. And um, yeah, just really nice to see everyone pull together and come through with some good planning. Uh, check out what WHF did. Really what the score came down to, surprisingly enough, wasn't TH10 triples. It was TH11 two stars. Uh, they only got twos on our one and two, Papa and Guns there. And if you look at the top, we got two on Momentus, and that ended up really ended up being the uh, the difference in score. Because if you'll see, uh, WHF had three stars on Oki, Salty, and QC. So uh, you know, th th TH10 triples were three to three. It really came down to those uh, two stars on the 11. So that's really you know interesting to see the way the game is transitioning these days. Um, and, you know, Town Hall Nine is slowly, slowly going to be phased out here. Um, and uh, as we see this game continue to grow, hopefully it does. We won't even get into that today. But uh, we're really going to be seeing a lot of this uh, Town Hall 10 content and and above. Uh, you know, just very, very cool to see an arranged war really come down to a two-star on an, on an 11 versus, uh, you know, TH10 trips. Anyways, a lot of replays I want to show here. I'm going to quit babbling on and just jump right in. I'm going to start right at the bottom. Homestar going in with a really nice attack <clears throat> on the train rack here. Um, so th this is really, you know, very standard um, queen queen walk Govaho. I like the early early wizards here to create the funnel, just untouched. Doesn't want to waste any hit points on the one golem he's brought, or uh, you know, start things too early. Gets uh, tries to get the lure out there and isn't successful, unfortunately. But all those giants are going to walk in. So, um, sorry, I, sh I shouldn't say I, I said queen walk. My bad, forgot. <laughs> this is a pure HGH. This is actually a fairly um, an older strat, but being revitalized at Town Hall Nine. Heard a lot of guys talking about it in chat. Uh, some newer videos going around about it. Um, so that's why I wanted to show this. Totally forgot this was the first attack I picked and forgot it was this HGH. Uh, so uh, uh, CC comes out, poison go down, no problem. Had the double poison, has three heals for these 19, uh, 20 some hogs he's going to send in. Kill squad's in there. Rages that king up, going to get really good value. They had to beat through the wall there as well. Um, but no big deal, right? Just going to rip through the rest of this stuff. Heal is down. Hogs are kind of surgically coming in now at all different points. There's another heal going down at this section over the Tesla. Any second, go, go, go. There it is. <clears throat> Probably want to drop a few more hogs up on the arch tower and push through that heal instead of just he's losing stuff on the outside here. But is what it is. He's got enough to spare because they're going to push through this under one more heal and it's going to take care of that. Just get everything through the rest of this stuff. Just has to get over to that last Tesla. And this base is GG. See those giants in there still with the heals? I mean, finally loses uh, most of those healers, uh, but still has giants in there, right? Like, they're, they're just standing there getting beat on by this Tesla forever, and it's not doing anything. So finally the hogs arrive, cleaning that up, and it's cleanup time.
Beautiful. Tree in the bag for Homestar. <clears throat> what else we got? We got mouthpiece. <clears throat> so this is also a very common strat nowadays. And I'm sort of trying to build my bases with this in mind a lot of the time now. Try and envision where queen charges are going to come into your base. And separate your air defense so that a queen standing, like, you'll see this here. This this isn't really, the, the, what I'm talking about isn't the problem. If the queen was standing in this compartment with the whiz towers, it can't reach both air defense. So try and do that from every side of the base sort of thing so that when a queen tries to charge in, she can't get more than one air defense. You'll uh, you'll really help protect against these, uh, these dragon attacks. But anyhow, this compartment is the problem because it opens it up. Unlocking that CC over to the uh, over to the queen there under the poison, no big deal. Doesn't have to burn a rage. Doesn't have to burn her ability. Gonna drop it once, drop the rage once this king locks on. I believe down it goes any second. Oh, does a zap quake first. Takes out the sweeper and the air defense. Another thing, guys, you, you, if you do that, you, you're losing your sweeper and your air defense. Don't put them side by side like that. It's a big no-no. <clears throat> so queen's going to lock on to this clan castle, take out the Tesla, take out the cannon, then finally take out that air defense there. But really, you just have this one air defense that's going to be left up after that, right? You have the zap quake, use the queen charge, take out two of the air defense, send in your king to kind of do whatever the hell you want to. I mean, you could even use him for cleanup. What he did there was use the king to create the funnel for the dragons. So really, there's only these three... Uh, very low hit point defense structures uh, before they get to uh, their air defense there. So double mind soaked up by that hound, which is perfect because he wants it to burst, just needs it to tank the air defense for like the 10 seconds that it does, and it does its job because the dragons are in, rage is down, there's very few def defenses. You know, queen finally goes down to that little Tesla trap on, the, on that far side there. But look at all these dragons, look at all the balloons coming in. Doesn't really stand a chance because it's three Teslas and a couple arch towers for one, two, three. I think there's five dragons I want to say remaining, if not six. So I'm going to fast forward this bit because drags are slow as shit. Even those balloons in there just going defense to defense really helps because that dragon gets in there too, does a little tanking. I don't think they quite get that to that Tesla, but they get the Archer Tower. Mm -mm -mm. Go, dragons, go. <laughs> Finally, they funnel in. Taking out the Tesla <laughs> one at a time. Tesla is the last last structure to go down. It's tree in the bag for MP. Nice job, leader. Uh, going to do a special episode on this base, actually. Uh, what was next? 25. Steve O, my, my man, Chad Fowler. I wanted to show this attack, uh, not necessarily because of the attack, uh, nothing against you there, Chad, but um, I just thought it was a kind of a cool base design. I've never seen a base like this. Um, it's kind of taking some different concepts and throwing them together. Uh, you know, very interesting queen chamber has this empty uh, kind of dead space moat around it. Um, I don't know, it's very interesting. I've never seen a base like this. Uh, thought it was a really cool attack here as well, though, by Chad. Does the old school lure, gets that hound yanked out, wants to deal with the hound all by itself when just the cannon uh, focused on it. Doesn't have to really do absolutely anything to fast forward through that part. Takes out the hound, bam, bam, bam. Does not have to use a rage, no ability, nothing. Now it's going to move into this base. Funnel's created on this top section. It's going to move down and work its way through this compartment. Dun, dun, dun. Go, go, queen charge. Poison goes down over the king. I love that little move. Finally gets that rage down. I'm going to rip through that king in no time. <clears throat> Continuing on with this section of the, the raid. going to start dropping those golems in. <clears throat> Creates the funnel with those wizards. Two golems are now in. going to slow this back down. Jump spell goes down to let everything into a kind of a big piece of this base now. So if you look at the way you treated this, right, this is what I was saying about um, the very sort of offset dead zone queen chambers. There's really like four sections of the base. The queen chamber, the Tesla farm behind the queen chamber, and then the, sort of like the nine o'clock and the 
the the uh, sorry the nine o'clock to six o'clock and the three o'clock um but the queen charge or the queen walk takes care of the three o'clock through six o'clock sends in the kill squad at nine o'clock really take care of that bottom section of the base and just hogs the rest and uh you know just sort of the the way this thing worked out is it um you know the, the dead zone didn't do a lot because the way he came in here that jump spell the tesla's there yanked everything right in into the queen um, so it didn't matter. You could just jump over top, you know. So I thought it was really cool, a, a base idea in theory. Just don't think executed perfectly well because Chad really, really picks it apart here. Um, and then comes away with the tree. Swipe, poison, boot. Nice job, my friend. All right, what else do we got here? Um... Number 11. A little ways up here. A lot of really nice tacks here, guys. Sorry, I hope I didn't uh, skip anything you seriously thought I should miss. But what would a recap be without Wiser's rip on these open alleyway bases? <clears throat> Sorry. Do, do, do. Uh, so it's going to go ahead and charge right into this base. Now it gets really, really good value out of this charge. Down goes the vineyard, creates that little bit of a funnel, and uh, Wizard goes down to help it out. Uh, storage is going to go down, but it doesn't matter anyways. Uh, this queen now kind of walks in and just steps up. I think he drops a wall breaker somewhere around here once that Wiz Tower goes down. And she just steps up and takes so much of this base out herself and then really just leaves this wide open for six Valks and um, and his little bit of a, a kill squad. I, I think he actually sends the kill squad in down here as well. Um, we're going to pan this out. Uh, I kind of watch this one and fast forward. But as we see this uh, these this progress, you'll see what I'm talking about with this queen charge. Like she's gotten so much already. 30% of the base is down. Still has two minutes to go in this uh, in this attack. <clears throat> Skeleton trap's gone. Here comes that CC. Poison goes down. I'm going to take care of all of that. Bam, bam, bam. See you later, P.E.K.K.A. See you later, Balloon. Has to burn that ability because of the P.E.K.K.A., but no big deal. Down goes that Expo. Going to work on this wall now for a little bit. So I believe here comes the second portion of the raid. Has There it is. Yeah, it's, I knew it was going in this Queen Chamber. But all these Valks with his King and one Golem, there aren't a lot of defenses here, right? Like There's two-point defense, the Expo, a couple splash behind. Remember, all these Teslas were over here. So there's no Teslas, anything, right? Like all these Valks are still up and alive and no problems whatsoever. Just the Golem took damage there, really, right? So Hogs are free to do whatever they want. Have to take out two Teslas. And it's no big deal. Down they go. That's definitely going to be treat in the bag for S17. Nice job, man. Didn't really use the alleyway. It just didn't really matter. It just, I don't know. It, it just sections off your base too much so that it, it just allows the attacker to, to figure out um, you know, it maps it out for the attacker. Uh, that's all I'll say. Like, really, it, it divides your base into specific sections, which is kind of how it is anyways, but I just don't think you want to lay it out so that it's just that obvious. I don't know. That's the only way I can describe it. <clears throat> Anywho, let's check this out with the war-winning star. My girl QC going in on Albert, number nine. A little bit of an earthquake soften up that uh, uh, Inferno Tower, and then he's going to zap it down. <clears throat> See you later, Inferno. So really, you look at this base, right? The air defense upgraded, Inferno Tower is down. Not 100% on the Teslas, but still a level 1 Expo, that low, low level cannon, the low level Arch Tower in there. Um, basically, all else town hall nine defenses so obviously very very new town hall 10 you know obviously matched up with our town hall 10s but um it, you know so qc uh with this level 36 queen and level 30 king walks in here takes out this cc takes out like basically this huge huge chunk of this base ends up getting both air defenses in the process uh i believe the inferno tower maybe i'm wrong about that but gets big big value out of this right here so down it goes. Queen is down. <clears throat> yeah, he gets he gets everything. Or she gets everything, I should say. Sorry, QC. Uh, but Inferno Tower goes down. 
Uh, both air defenses are down. Uh, down. Uh, both lava hounds are now in. So it sends in a bunch of balloons kind of all around the outside here. Haste is down, pushing everything right in on top of that um, uh, that air defense there. Going to bust that down in seconds. Remember, like this is basically a Town Hall 9 Lalo at this point. There's no air, uh, no Inferno Tires left. Uh, there's only the two air defense, right? Like just slight adjustments to that kill squad entry. And this is basically just a shattered Lalo. Um and just worked absolutely beautifully because you just add that Zapquake in there to take care of the uh, Inferno Tower. Uh, so you only got the one to deal with. If you get the Inferno Tower at two air defense with uh, your kill squad, that means you're sitting pretty for a normal uh, three Lava Hound comp. And QC just rips this up. It is basically cleanup time. There's one Tesla for all these pups. Uh, QC's queen is now stepping up, helping with the cleanup process by this... <laughs> by the skin of her teeth just hangs on queen gets there just in time keep those pups alive it's a tree in the bag very nice job mm. tree in the bag for qc all right check out a couple of these guns bullies and uh, we're gonna call it a night um so both witch attacks whoop uh both of these are witch attacks they're very very spammy i mean i don't know what to say not taking anything away from guns because it's not like it's e easy to do this is this doesn't just happen every time you just drop all your witches against um you know a very well developed town hall 10 uh right 40 heroes i think mostly or all town hall def uh, 10 defenses um Unless I'm missing something, looks like all Town Hall done defenses, right? Except the walls, obviously, but um, huge, huge value out of uh, the Queen Walk, just getting uh, that funnel created, pushing all the witches, keeping them right in the core. Rage goes down, gonna pop that Grand Warren ability to keep everything alive. Uh, witches are gonna rip through the Town Hall and then rip through that next Inferno Tower. The second, la this last part of the base is open. Just uh, everything is wide open, right? Like the jumps let everything in, Earthquake on the back end, just fantastic job or was that even an earthquake that was an earthquake derp or yeah it was i'm an idiot totally an earthquake <laughs> i was right the first time go with my instincts but as you can see this base is gg look at all those witches one two three four five six seven like at least seven of ten witches still alive that's just unbelievable grand warren just kept this that perfect timing on the grand warren ability is just Super clutch with these attacks. Tree in the bag for guns. Actually, the six pack, which is a huge, huge factor in what gave us the victory this war. Mm -mm. So the exact same attack. Very, very strong bully attack. If you figure out how to open up the base for the witches, best angle to send them in. Do a little bit of a queen walk to take out some valuable targets and start create a bit of a funnel for the witches. You're looking pretty dandy uh, at this point with that uh, perfect timing on that Grand Warden ability, which you'll see her again. Has a wall break fail here. Then you wanted to let the Queen in, uh, and so she could get all of this stuff at the same time as moving across here, but ends up moving all the way around. Uh, starts to send in his uh, kill squad here. Golem goes down with that giant. All those witches are going to go on down right behind. Grand Warden's in. Bunch of giants go down. I mean, he's just going to jump right into this big open town hall compartment queen's in there king's in there <clears throat> down goes that defensive king everything's gonna lock on the cc lock on that queen king raises it up gonna just rip through that all those barbs in there giants get in there do some tanking on those inferno towers witches are now in all behind that like the giants just absolutely perfect grand warren ability protecting those giants just keep them alive just long enough right just get everything in there now every, all those wizards everything's gonna focus boom down goes that next inferno tower definitely once that happens it is gg uh king still has ability he didn't even rage it up for the king that must have been a rage spell he used there um so any second now is going to use that ability and just push through the rest of this base but it doesn't matter just a billion witches left skeletons all over the place be interesting to see if they actually do upgrade the mortar in the next major update because i believe that is gonna purposely just to help town hall 10 defend against these attacks Because uh, those Max Witches, they are beasts. Nice job, Guns. 
Sexy Six Pack War. WHF, great, great job on the uh, on putting us on our heels there. Um, like I had said, we uh, we thought we were golden. Like we we were pretty confident that it wasn't going to come down to what it had to come down to. And you put the pressure right back on us, put the ball in our court, uh, and QC came through. Nice job, guys. Uh, fantastic war. Uh, great performance by all. Uh, love these ones. Good to have this one in the book. Nice to get some really nice to nice to get some green stripes going again. You know, it was uh, a couple about a week ago, a couple weeks ago, it was looking pretty grim, and uh, we've really bounced back and got quite a few wins now, and uh, it's uh, it's rolling. Everyone's upgrading. Town Hall 10 is getting stronger by the day, and it's just uh, just only a matter of time before. Uh, all I'm able to show you are TH10 triples because Town Hall 9 is getting phased out. And all we're doing is Town Hall 10 three-star. Anyhow, call it a night here. Uh, fantastic war, like I said. Hats off to you over at WHF. You guys are a stand-up group of individuals. Power bang. You're, uh, you're the man. Uh, really, uh, really look up to you. So uh, appreciate you giving us the chance to war you guys like this. And uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.